friends, welcome back to another video. Today I am working with Petal and Pup to bring you this clothing haul and I'm so excited because there's so much cute stuff. Petal and Pup is genuinely one of my favourite places to shop because they have the cutest pieces and I do have a discount code so if you want to make a purchase from Petal and Pup you can use the code RACH15 to save 15% off at checkout. I will also leave a link to Petal and Pup down below as well as all of the links to the items that I show you and all my sizes because I always get questions about that. I would say I'm typically a size 6 to 8 in clothing and I would say that everything I got was very true to size so I would just say stick with your normal size when you're ordering. The first thing that I got I'm actually wearing is just this little white tee. My friend Connor has this in like three different colours and she always looks so good in it and so I got it for myself and I really really love it. Obviously it has a little knot at the front which is great because I tend to tie a lot of my t-shirts at the front anyway especially when I'm wearing them with a skirt or something but what I really love is that this top has like an elasticated back on it so it sits really tightly around your waist which is just really flattering. The next piece I have is this gorgeous maxi skirt and I love the pattern on this. I think it's just so fun and summery even though we're definitely going out of summer now. <laughs> I still will be wearing this. I mean I guess it's kind of like autumnal colours as well so I can justify it. But honestly I just love maxi skirts. I have like one other that's a very similar fit to this and it's one of my favourite pieces in my wardrobe so when I saw this one I was like I need that. I need that in my wardrobe. It also has a drawstring around the elasticated waist, which is helpful because obviously you can tie it tighter if you need to. And it also does have a split down one of the sides of the legs, which is just a really flattering detail also. In the try-on clips, I paired this top with the skirt, but I also think this would just be a really fun beachy kind of outfit with like a bikini top or something. Super cute. The next piece that I have is this top and it is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I think it's gorgeous. You can also buy a matching skirt, but they were out of stock in my size, but otherwise I would have loved that. I think it's gorgeous. But it's this little white top that has black polka dots all over it. It ties up at the front, so it's really just like two pieces of fabric. And you could probably tie this a few different ways, either have a bow at the front, just a knot, or you probably wrap it around a little bit and tuck it in at the back if that is what you'd prefer. I love the puffy sleeves, obviously so trendy right now, but also just really fun. And a beautiful elasticated back, which is just just a really comfy thing to have in a piece of clothing. The reason why I would say this is out of my comfort zone is just because it is quite short, quite small. I would say if you were really big in the chest, this might not be for you because it really only just covered my bust area and I'm really not blessed in that area. So I would just keep that in mind, but truly it is so beautiful and so flattering. I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but I'll have to find somewhere because it's just gorgeous. We're just going through all the tops first, I guess, but this next top is probably my favorite item I'm gonna show you in this haul, maybe just like one of my top three, but I think it is so beautiful. Again, it has the puffy sleeves and a little tiny frill on the end, which I I think is such a cute detail. And then what I really like about this is it has these two long strands at the back where you can tie them up, which gives like a slightly open back, but also allows you to tie it as tightly as you want so that not only it's more flattering, but it also just fits you perfectly. I know they do have this top in a few other colors. I think they were sold out my size when I had a look at some of the others, but they have a beautiful sage color, which I think is stunning. And I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of this one because it looks like one of those tops that you could dress up or dress down very easily. This next dress, is so freaking cute. I feel like sometimes you order things and you think they're cute, obviously, and then you receive them in person and they're even better than you thought they would be. And that is just my favorite. I love it when you're like happily surprised with an online purchase because it's just even better than you would have thought. This dress definitely isn't tight fitting, but I feel like that's what I genuinely lean towards more often. And probably my favorite thing about this dress, which I didn't know when I ordered it, is it has pockets. I have found that a lot of Petal and Pup dresses, not all of them, but a lot of them do have pockets, and I feel like that is such a great surprise. And also just so useful. We also have the Rachel Catherine frill at the bottom of the dress, which I haven't had that in a long time. I feel like I haven't brought that up in a whole video for a while. I feel like it's not as trendy as it used to be, but I still freaking love it. I will give me all the Rachel Catherine frills, you know? You can also tie the straps of this dress exactly where you want them, so it's gonna be as high or low on your chest as you want it to be, which I really appreciate. This piece is, again, something that I knew I would really like, but I didn't realize how much I would love it until I received it in person, and it's this huge, chunky knit sweater. 
I kind of assumed that I needed some sort of like a colder, more wintry piece since we are going into the colder months here. But I feel like everything I have is just like a summery dress because it's still so hot here in Brisbane. It's still like 30 degrees every day. But this makes me so excited for winter. Just like a plain white top with some blue jeans and this huge chunky knit sweater. I think that'll be the perfect wintry outfit. I will say I got the smallest size in this. It also does come in a larger size and it is huge on me. So I would definitely say it's oversized. There is no need to size up. It's just perfect. It has pockets, it's soft, it's not scratchy, and the color is just such an easy, neutral, beautiful shade of like, I don't know, a creamy, beige color. This next piece is definitely a very interesting one for me. I feel like this is a little bit out of my comfort zone again, but I really, really love how it fits. It's this kind of like, oh, I don't know what this sort of color is. Is it a khaki or is it more of like a foresty green? It's like a muted darker green. However, they do have this dress in so many different colors, so you could always find one that suits you. I think I might end up saving this to wear to a wedding that I have later in the year because I think it would just be so stunning. But it's also just really, really comfy. It has an elasticated waist around it, but it does come with this sash, which you can tie to really cinch your waist in even more. I will say that it is a little bit gapy around the front for me, but that is because I don't have anything to fill it in. But in saying that, with these sort of dresses or tops, I always end up putting my fashion tape there anyway just just to be safe so I'm not really concerned about that and I would say that if you are a bigger chested girl you still have plenty of room I love this one very flowy very fun. I think this next one is a bit of a surprise favorite for me again. I just love it way more than I thought I would when I originally ordered it. I still loved it when I ordered it, but when I got it and tried it on, I was like, this is so beautiful. So it's just this kind of like color block dress, I guess you could say, with the white and then the pink and then the more neutrally beigey brown color. When I showed this dress to Georgia and Liam, they both said I look like a Neapolitan ice cream, but I kind of love that. That's kind of fun. And I think the colors are so beautiful. And again, this has pockets. We love that. We love to see pockets. If any like clothing designer people are out there listening to this, I don't know why they would be, but if they are, please design more dresses with pockets because they're just so handy. But I just love how easy this is to wear. It's just so comfy. You can literally throw it on, but it looks like you put so much effort in because it's such a gorgeous dress. I just, I really appreciate pieces like that. I promise that we're getting close to the end. I, I promise. The second last piece I have is this beautiful, again, a maxi dress. Obviously, I'm really loving the maxi dresses right now or Maybe they're supposed to be midi dresses, but they're maxi on me. I don't know. But either way, they look really nice. I think petal and pop dresses are probably my favorite dresses, I would say. Especially for just like daily wear and also occasion wear. So like they have really great dresses that you could wear every single day. Like that kind of plaid, neutrally colored one that I showed you before. But then they also have really beautiful dresses that you can wear to birthdays and weddings and those nicer sort of events. So I really think they have something for everyone. This is another option that I might end up wearing to a wedding later in the year, but it is just such a gorgeous dress. I love the pattern on it and and I really, really love the colors. I feel like I usually just prefer neutral colors. I think they just look really stunning, but they're a lot more subtle, not so in your face, especially when it comes to patterns. So I adore this one. It also has a little knotted detail at the front of the neckline, which again, I really love. And a little kind of, I don't know what you call this, just like a string <laughs> that you can tie around your waist to cinch it in. And I just love it when they have a sash or something that you can tie around your waist because to me personally, I feel like that looks way more flattering when you can really cinch in your waist. So yeah, this is another winner. And the last piece that I have to show you is yet another dress and also yet another maxi dress. But it is this one, which is so stunning. This is so cute. I am definitely obsessed. I have another dress that's very similar to this style and it's white and it has like red flowers on it and I bought it about a year and a half ago and to this day it is still my favorite item of clothing in my wardrobe so when I saw this which is pretty much the exact same style but just in this beautiful like muted blushy pink color I was like I need that and again they do have this in other colors too so I might have to just like snag a couple of those as well but it just has a beautiful square neckline spaghetti straps a little bit of an open back which is really pretty um an elasticated panel at the back there too which is really comfortable and then just flows out all the way to the bottom this one does not have pockets just letting you know but i guess because it is so freaking cute We'll let it slide. The only hesitation I have with this dress is there's like a stitch that runs across horizontally here. And unfortunately, the way the stitching is, it kind of makes you look like you're doing like a free the nip situation, which is not necessarily bad. It's just not really my vibe. And I don't really want people to think I'm freeing the nip when I'm not freeing the nip. You know what I mean? So that's the only thing that I'm like, look, 
that is not my favorite and maybe if you were bigger chested and you filled out the dress more it wouldn't be so prominent but I just wanted you guys to be aware of that you know oh my gosh my arm is hurting from like holding the coat hanger up here which is such a first world problem but those are all of the pieces that I have to share with you guys today I am truly so happy with my order I think everything fits really well looks really good is super great quality as well and I honestly couldn't be more impressed another thing is their shipping is literally insane. I don't know the details of it, so I need to like read it. Maybe I'll put it on the screen for you guys, but I'm pretty sure in like Brisbane metro areas, they have like same day delivery if you order before 2 p.m. or something insane because I made my order yesterday morning and I got it yesterday afternoon, which is sorry. I've never had that happen before. Never in my life have I had a package come that quickly. I feel like next day delivery is already insane, let alone same day delivery. So if you're a Brisbane gal and you have an event coming up, you definitely need to get on that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I would love it if you guys left me a comment letting me know what your favorite clothing item to wear is. I feel like I'm such a dress girl. I never used to be, but I love wearing dresses. In saying that, I'm also just, I just like pajamas and like hoodies and stuff. But yeah, let me know what your favorite like clothing piece to wear is. Is it like a skirt? Is it a top? Like, let me know. Or what do you always find yourself buying more of even though you don't need to? Like for me, do I need that many new dresses? Probably not, but I did it. I did it. If you do end up making a purchase from Petal and Pup, remember that you can use the code RACH15 to get 15% off your order. And make sure you send me screenshots of anything that you do order because I'm genuinely just interested and I would love to be able to shop your looks as well. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or your night whenever you're watching this and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Goodbye.